Alrighty, what's poppin? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing guys how to set up mods for Pokemon Legends Arceus on the Yuzu and Ryu Jinx emulator. Now, this is pretty simple and easy due to the fact that most mods you're gonna see on the website I'm going to show you is mostly made for emulators. You can use it on a custom firmware switch, but due to the fact that these were not primarily focused on a switch more than an emulator, it may overheat your switch or even crash the game at times. So if you're using on a custom firmware switch, be very mindful of those risks and you should experience these things if you're going to put this on your custom firmware switch. It's better off putting this on an emulator because it is less of a risk and plus, um, as you know, emulators are mostly built on PCs and PCs are really strong, so it can handle pretty much anything compared to consoles. So yeah, after you get that out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm leaving the description down below to Game Banana. This is basically the go-to place for most Nintendo mods, not just Switch, like if they have Nintendo mods for every single game. I think they can back all the way to the Wii. So yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of mods here. And basically how this basically works, you can go from the best of the weeks, like these are, I seen a pretty cool mod earlier, this one. Go and get this one. I'm gonna showcase you guys how to set it up. It's pretty simple and easy. Now they do make updates. As you can see, this is version one and this is version two. So you basically release version one and two pretty close within the same day. All right, so I'm gonna get version two. Showcase you guys how to set it up. Now it's gonna come as a RAR file, so, I mean, a RAR file. So you're gonna need something like 7-zip or one RAR to open it up. As long as you have one of those two, you should be good. And wait for it to finish downloading real quick. Should take too long, maybe zero seconds left. All right, we'll minimize this real quick. We're gonna drag and drop it to our desktop. Close that out, minimize this, open up the SD texture. Now to make sure it actually works with emulator, I think you need to find the ROM FS folder. Yep, as long as it has a ROM FS folder, it should work on emulators, no matter what it is. Because emulators usually read the ROM FS folder and then it basically emulates it. <laughs> emulates it to the game. Okay, we're gonna close that out. Go to left click, open mod as location, drag this. I don't really want to use mod to move this one. Now we're gonna close that out. Go to properties, and boom, as long as the box is checked on your zone. If it's not on, you make sure you check it. Press OK on that. Now you set up with Ryu Jinx. It's literally, it's literally the exact, it's the same exact way. Showcase you guys how to set it up real quick on Ryu Jinx. I'll open up the HD texture. Close that out real quick. Drag and drop the folder. Open mod director. Let's delete this mod. I don't need this anymore. Close that out. And then boom. Basically all set to go. I would show gameplay, but you know, if I show gameplay right now in this video, this video is gonna get claimed by Nintendo because you know how they really are with mods and emulation, all that stuff you show in gameplay. They really don't like it, they like claiming the video, even though we're in every right to showcase it because it's fair use, but we're not gonna get into all that. So that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Bird Tone. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.